hey guys welcome back everybody hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we are going to configure one to many destination NAT one to many means one public IP address to many private IP addresses and my public IP addresses you can see 200.1.1.10 my public IP 200.1.1.10 and I have two servers in my LAN one is uh, you can see LAN server and one is DMG server LAN server IP address is 172.16.1.2 and DMG server IP address is 172.16.10.1 so how we will translate one public IP address into multiple private IP address we have to use the port number this is also called one to many with PAT port address translation you can see what how I will configure the NAT policy on Palo Alto firewall like this 200.1.1.10 my public IP address if someone is going to send traffic to this public IP address with this port number then Palo Alto firewall will translate the public into this private IP address the DMG server private IP address 172.16.10.1 with port number 80 and if someone from the internet will hit on again same public IP address with this port number then Palo Alto firewall will translate it into the LAN server private IP address 172.16.1.2 colon 80 okay so this is my requirement here we have single public IP address and we want to translate that for um, multiple private IP address you want to translate one public IP address into multiple private IP address okay so let's begin guys the configuration uh, in the last video I had configured destination NAT with a dedicated pool of public IP address hope that is clear to you and first I am going to delete that NAT policy from the Palo Alto firewall and uh, will create the new NAT policy here let me take you to Palo Alto firewall here you can see I have one NAT policy with name destination NAT I am going to delete it select it and delete it delete yes again you need to log in just give me one minute admin Okay, let me take you to the policy and NAT policy policy NAT policy and here you can see now I don't have any NAT policy on my Palo Alto firewall let me add the NAT policy here with name let's say LAN server or DMG server and original packet in the original packet source John is going to be untrusted source John will be untrusted you know this destination John will be also untrusted right destination interface is going to be Ethernet 1 slash 1 and here we have service here we need to add the service right let me click on new service and let's give name to this service let's say TCP um, port number 8080 for DMG server I am using this port number you can see 8080 okay and, uh, and then description here port number we can define port number 8080 and uh, source port any okay fine now let me say okay to this source zone done destination zone done source address will be any destination address destination address is going to be what guys destination address will be always your public IP address which is 200.1.1.10 okay and then translate translated packet here we are going to configure the destination at destination at with a static IP address 
and uh, more translated address is going to be translated address is going to be your um, private IP address 172.16.10.1 my translated packet and translate port 80 okay so you can see in the original packet I have defined the my inside my, my, sorry source zone destination zone destination interface and the service i have created one service here with, for um, uh, tcp port number 8080 source address any destination address the public ip address and after that in the translated packet i said uh, destination at translation with a static ip and here is my private ip address with port number 80 right so if request will come with this port number tcp port number 8080 my palo alto firewall will translate the public ip address into this private ip address and the port number 8080 into 80 and let me say okay here right let me delete this previous entry this is not required now say yes Similarly, I need to create one more NAT rule here. One more NAT rule is required for LAN server. Let me name it LAN server and uh, go to original packet. Again, source John is outside, destination John is outside destination interface is ethernet one slash one and service let me add one more service here uh, name is let's say tcp 8081 right and here i am going to define the port number 8081 and say okay and uh, source address any destination address is your public ip address 200.1.1.10 and this time if this will be the port number 8081 then translated packet destination translate with a static IP address and um, private IP address is 172.16.1.2 and translate the port into 80 very good now this is your NAT configuration NAT configuration is done you can see here I have two policy right in the both NAT policy my destination address is same now we need one security policy to allow the traffic let me create the security policy here okay let me delete the previous security policy web server access now this is not required let me delete and let me delete this one as well it is not required and let me create one new security policy here to allow uh, traffic from outside to inside John and DMG John for this public IP address only okay and even you can define the port number L name is let's say internal server access and uh, source source John is going to be your mom source John will be my outside interface traffic will come from outside to inside source address is going to be any uh, source user any and source device any then click on destination destination john will be your lan one john and the dmg john both the john right if the traffic is coming from outside john to either inside dmg john or lan one john right destination address here we can define the destination address if destination address is if destination address is uh, 200.1.1.10 i am only allowing this public ip address and then then go to now uh, destination device any go to application and here we can uh, ignore the application any service here we can add one service service even you can define the service as well any but here service i am saying tcp port number 8080 the service which i had created and tcp this one these two are the 
services and action except uh, allow okay and log access and start say okay not done i have created the security policy to allow the traffic from outside to lan1 john or dmg john now let me commit the configuration and after the commit we will verify it okay so just wait for some time until commit is working commit is about to succeed let me verify let me access the internet user pc and first let me verify the ip here ip config and ip here is 100.1.1 okay the public ip address let me open the browser and if the browser let me test i'm able to access the internal server or not one more thing here you can verify on palo alto firewall commit is succeed the routing table the routing table is fine or not go to network and uh, virtual router and static route i think default route is there okay is any routing protocol running we have to configure one a static route for this lan submit guys 172.16.1.0 let me create one static route here static route for lan and destination is 172.16.1.0 slash 24 and uh, on which interface it is going to be on interface ethernet 1 slash 2 and uh, next hop ip address is going to be the router ip address what is the ip address of router let me check here once enable so ip so ip interface brief 10.1.1.2 okay very good 10.1.1.2 10.1.1.2 and uh, distance ad value leave it on default let's say okay okay and let me commit this new configuration as well commit and from the um, outside pc let me check i'm able to access the internal server or not 200.1.1.200.1.1.10 and guys 8080 you can see it is asking for username and password that means i got the access let me open another browser for better view you can use chrome commit is working yeah okay so um, 200.1.1.10 and see if i am going to hit on this public ip address 200.1.1.10 without port number i am not able to access the server now let's define the port number 8080 and hit enter and now you can see it is asking for the username and password username is admin password is uh, cisco123 password is incorrect mm, admin and cisco yes you can see i got the access of my internal server with this port number and on palo alto firewall if you will check let me close it but it is working and if you will monitor the traffic Here I have access of router okay server very good and here you can see the result guys source address was 100.1.1.1 the um, internet PC IP address okay source John was untrusted destination John to John from John and to John from John untrusted to John DMG okay this is the time 
and uh, source user doesn't mean the destination IP address you can see the public IP address port number destination port number 18080 and um, application was web browsing and here you can see the translated packet Palo Alto firewall have allowed the this is not the translation let me show you the translation this is the policy we are not able to see the netted packet somewhere you will find the net address here source here it is NAT source IP address and uh, let me check now somewhere if you will find NAT, NAT source you can see now NAT source is added similarly like this I can also add the NAT destination if you want to see the translated packet translated packet somewhere you will find the option NAT destination port NAT destination IP address and here now you can see the NAT source IP address in the packet was 100.1.1.1 and it has translated NAT destination IP address 172.16.10.1 one which is your dmg server ip address right and now let me try to access the port number 8081 means my wave lan web server and here you can see now i am able to access lan web server as well again username admin and password is cisco and you can see i got the access and here in the packet monitoring you can find the translated IP address let me show you yeah the destination IP address was same you can see source IP address destination IP address same but the port number is guys not different see two port number is 8081 that's why router your palo alto firewall have translated the public ip address 200.1.1.10 into this private ip address 170.16.1.2 which is your uh, lan server ip address right so this is how you can configure many one to many destination at when you have um, a single public ip address and uh, need to translate to multiple private IP address okay this is again real-time configuration and hope it is clear to you guys if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section otherwise that's all for today if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button we'll meet soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today